Hi, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. I hope that you are doing well. Today I have two things that I want to share with you. First is a project that I started at the beginning of this week and it's one of those things that just starts innocently. You go out in your garden, you start to do some little things, you start to check something and all of a sudden it turns into that massive project that just gets worse every day and in the end you just say to yourself, well, I'm just gonna transform the entire space. And that's exactly what happened with the back of my balcony um, and I'm gonna show you and explain you a little bit more about it in a moment. And the second thing that I want to share with you is that after being on social media for over three years now, my little garden got featured in a magazine for the very first time. So I'm in the Modern Gardens magazine. Modern Gardens is a magazine that is published in the UK but you can also purchase online versions so you can download an app and have all the issues on your smartphone and i also found a shop that um, sells and ships the paper version of the magazine so i ordered the paper version just because i got featured so i wanted to have it you know as a souvenir so if you do have the june issue you will find me on the page 112 where uh, you will see some pictures from before um, so completely empty balcony and the after photo which is actually from last summer and a little photo from the spring with me with my spring bulbs and a little note that I wrote about my balcony garden how I went about transforming this space um, and stuff like that and you have also some little inspiration but that's not from me that's from other people uh, some little palette planter and some tree at the bottom but uh, yeah, this part is about my balcony garden so that's really really uh, lovely and made me so happy <laughs> like totally made my my week even i would say my month uh, and i really love modern gardens magazine because they publish a lot of stuff for small gardens so a lot of patio gardens and terrace gardens, plenty of ideas and inspiration for container gardens, some little seasonal projects that are on a budget and that anyone can do no matter how big or how small space you have. If you are interested in checking out Modern Gardens magazine, I will leave the link in the description box to where you can uh, subscribe for the online uh, version of the magazine and also I will leave the link to the shop where I purchased the paper version. So let's now talk about the project that I made this week. Um, so if you maybe you remember from my balcony tours that at the back of the balcony I had this big concrete planter and I had a trellis with ivy climbing on it. It was supposed to serve as a privacy screen and long story short I used to have ivy climbing on that trellis before and it created a beautiful green wall but after I started to dig in the pot and I completely disrupted the roots of that ivy and the main plant died and Ever since I tried to make some little cuttings to try to uh, fill it back uh, with these cuttings and it didn't really work well because the past two years we can see through that trellis so it doesn't really provide a privacy screen or a windbreak. Um, and recently I was planting some herbs and some lettuce and stuff like this in that pot and I ended up uh, watering that pot twice a day which is crazy given the fact that it's such a large pot I should be watering it like every I don't know three four days maximum so I knew that something was wrong and I started to dig because I was suspecting that probably the ivy roots grew so uh, massively that it is those roots that are pulling out all the moisture and I was right the ivy roots were just everywhere it was a nightmare to dig in that pot because I didn't have a proper tools so it took me like two days to just get rid of all the roots uh, and finally when I arrived at the bottom of the pot I realized that there is no drainage at all like those people who constructed that pot and or who constructed this building they just threw a bunch of trash at the bottom some construction um, materials like some plastic some bricks and stones and all kinds of stuff and at first I thought that the drainage hole was just simply blocked by all this trash but it turns out that there is no drainage holes at all so my first idea was that I will borrow some very powerful drill and I will drill the holes at the sides because then the water could drain to the floor of my balcony like if, if the water goes on the floor of the balcony it just drains through the cracks and then it's evacuated through the gutters and um, I couldn't drill through that pot which is no surprise because even if you saw some clips from my apartment you will probably see that I have empty walls because I can't like even hang a picture because it's impossible to drill through those walls it's a reinforced concrete so for those type of walls you will probably need like a hammer drill which I don't have and I don't know anyone who has that type of uh, tools and also I'm not gonna call anyone telling him hey could you just come over and drill three holes in my pot because they will think that I'm a crazy person um, so I tried to come up with something clever and I didn't some of you had some nice suggestions on Instagram because I shared that project on Instagram throughout this week and some of you suggested to put some layer of pebbles or stones at the bottom and I think that in itself is a very good idea 
But my concern was that if I put a layer of stones at the bottom, uh, I was thinking that if it like rains a lot or if I water a lot and that water will just drain to that bottom layer, it's just gonna sit there. It's just, it's not gonna evaporate and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna sit there. And in the end, I just, I couldn't find any clever idea. So I just thought, well, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of soil and I'm just gonna fill it completely with soil. I really don't think that we'll ever get that much rain to fully saturate the soil until the bottom. Uh, so I saved as much of the old soil as I possibly could. So I filled half with the old soil and then on top I put two bags of uh, compost and I mixed it in a little bit with the old soil and I put two bags of fresh soil on top and I decided that I will plant a hydrangea in there because I have this big hydrangea serrata which it doubled in size since last year so this hydrangea is gonna grow a little bit bigger and um, I'm thinking that even if there's a lot of moisture in there this hydrangea will like it and a funny thing happened, the moment that I filled this container with soil, it started to rain and it rained like two days straight, like two days, two nights in a row, it rained like crazy. I'm not talking about mist, I'm talking about proper rain. So I went after two days and I started to dig in the spot to check how far the soil uh, was saturated. And it turns out that even after two days of rain, the soil was saturated just like this much, like 10, maximum 15 centimeters. And underneath the soil was like bone dry. So when I removed the ivy I also had to remove the trellis because at this point it was not providing any privacy or any windbreak so I ideally I would want something that covers the view completely but uh, because the balcony is such an odd width it is 1.3 meters in that place and it doesn't really exist I mean at least I didn't find any like a wooden panel that would be 1.3 meters wide most of the time they are either 90 centimeters or 150 or 180 so I couldn't find anything that would be like really pretty or anything like this so even though I don't really love the weaker privacy screen that I bought um, but it's a compromise I guess between uh, having some little protection from the wind and having some little um, privacy screen and later on I can grow maybe some climbing plant on it, not in the pot, but on the side and make the climbing plant just go on that privacy screen. At the beginning of the year I imagined um, sort of transforming that space. I didn't like plan any of this at all, but I kind of imagined that I will have some little chair and some little coffee table in there where I could just sit, relax, take my coffee and look at my garden. So actually my mom and my grandma, they wanted to offer me some gift for the balcony. So it turns out really well because I purchased some little nice comfortable chair to put in that corner. I also bought some little coffee table. I think that's actually a plant stand, but I'm gonna use it as a coffee table. And I like just created a little spot in there, some little nook uh, where I can just, just sit and, and relax. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this little balcony transformation. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.